and foremost, I want to say Kalalal, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Mekar Kodash, the Quranans to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the brothers that are pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. I'm the brother Yahya from the James Kingston Jamaica camp. Here with a quick lesson, and this one is entitled, entitled False Humility is a sign of wickedness right because you have brothers that are among the camps who when they are rebuked or they are corrected are buffeted for their faults they respond in a manner that is seemingly humble but in the back of their mind they are they are they have an evil eye they are thinking with a perverse mind towards that brother that issued that rebuke right and when you do that that mindset is the mindset of the enemy you see and it's going to lead to you being kicked out of the camp when you are rebuked the rebuke when you take rebuke the correct way to take rebuke is to actually look within yourself and find the fault that is within you and purge it away you understand that is the correct way to take rebuke but when you get rebuke and you act humble but in your mind you justifying yourself that's a sign of wickedness man that's a sign of how the enemy acts and how the enemy perceives things right now this is the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 10 it says never trust thine enemy for like as iron rusted so is his wickedness zin now this is speaking to the so-called white man but when you when you have the mindset of the so-called white man you're an enemy as well you understand and we can use these characteristics of the so-called white man to identify the enemies that are among the truth zin now the scripture used the analogy of a iron rusting how does that what does what is the chemical process or reaction that causes an iron to rust iron cannot rust without without a couple things water and oxygen that is what iron that causes iron to rust right now the word is a liking unto what the water zin it's also the breath of life so to speak it, this is what gives you life what makes you truly live right now when the word is applied to you zin and you are not of a pure substance you are as iron that rusts it right so when the word is being applied this water this spiritual water is being applied to you it's supposed to purify you it's supposed to wash you and make you clean but if not being sharpened if you're not being refined if you're not being purged you're being rust man you see your corruption is coming up you understand you're being you're being corroded and your mind is being corroded because within the word the, the rebuke is supposed to be the oil that that purifies you Zin, that mollifying ointment that smoothens you out. But once you're being rebuked and your mindset is in a, in a perverse manner, you're being haughty, puffed up more and more, you become an enemy. Zin, but in hindsight, in, at first glance, you would seem as if you, are being, if you are acting humble. But in your mind, you know you're not acting humble. You know you're not truly humble, man. You understand? Because scripture continues and said, Though he humble himself and go crouching yet take good heed and be be beware of him you understand and don't believe that your false humility is not being seen you understand because in the truth members a part of the truth are spiritual spiritual menu you understand once a man is truly adhering to this word they are spiritual men and they can discern when you are being when you are being um when you're displaying signs of false humility as in so the scripture say and beware of him and thou shalt be unto him as if thou has wiped a looking glass and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away right the scripture continues and say set him not by thee least when he had overthrown thee he stand up in thy place neither let him sit at thy right hand lest he seek to take thy seat and thou at the that at the last remember my words and be pricked therewith 
So when the elders and apostles are basically looking amongst the camp and doing and doing um house cleaning men, they are applying the scriptures yo to remove those members who are enemies yo who are acting falsely, sending up double honors in the name, zin, zin and basically praising the name of your how about shame or shy acting falsely men. You understand? Those members are enemies men, and when the elders and apostles are, are basically purging these men away from the truth they are doing the right thing yo they are doing a thing according to the word yo because at the end of the day if you don't remove that leaven yo see they are going to end up corrupting the word of the truth yo they are end up corrupting the body see they are going to end up overthrowing members in the body end up evil to the point where it caused members of the body to be put to death so this is a serious thing you understand so now I'm going to jump down to um, verse 16. So it continues and saying, An enemy speak it sweetly with his lips. Khan, brother. Khan, brother. You rebuke him. Khan, brother. Yeah, brother. It's true, brother. Zin, but in his mind, he's not, he's not basically purified. He's not thinking with a pure mind that what you're saying is correct. Understand? But in his heart, he imagine it how to throw thee into a pit. You tell a brother to do a particular thing, you instruct him in righteous in a righteous state. But in his mind, he's be like, This motherfucker, this nigga keeps speaking to me, man. Who does he think he is? That's the mindset of a nigga. You understand? He's thinking of how to put you into the pit, man. Zane, thinking of how how he can overthrow you or how he can put put um an evil suspicion or examination on you, man. He's not examining himself. Examining itself, man. You understand? The scripture continues to say, He will weep. He will weep with his eyes. But if, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. So he tell you, Oh, geez, brother. Yeah, brother. Much love, brother. But if, him, if, if that man ever find opportunity, man, you better believe it. You better believe it, man. You will use that opportunity to overthrow members in the truth, yo. Zin, so beware of false humility. Zin, false humility lead it to your destruction and wickedness. And it lead it to the destruction of members within the body that are doing the right thing. Because that false member that is displaying false humility, man, is the one that will go to the... To the, to the to the so-called authorities, zin and cause and cause members apart and basically cast the light of members apart of the body being terrorists, man, zin. To get you to get you thrown into prison and thrown in the guillotines, yo. So beware of false humility, man. And with that, I hope that this is was edifying according to the elect of the nation of Israel. I want to say, Kalalali, how about Hashem Yahushai, or Hashem Rakar Kadash for giving me the spirit and power to do this lesson, man. Zin double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and salutations to all the brothers as pushing this work in our sincerity and in truth. Right? Shalom.